Hey, this is Mark from StrongPoint. This is part of a series of videos that discuss specific techniques you, to help you achieve uh, SOX compliance or other regulatory compliance more quickly and easily in NetSuite. Today, we're going to be talking about monitoring administrator behavior in your NetSuite account. And in particular, we're going to be talking about how to monitor their transactional behavior. Administrators, and there are some other roles that are like this, such as the system administrator role, generally have extremely broad um, transactional powers. They can not only create and edit any type of transaction or any other record for that matter, but they can also delete them. And so therefore, the administrator role is a particular point of concern for auditors because an administrator could, in theory, um, commit fraud and then cover their tracks uh, fairly closely. Now, the challenge is that um, if we wanna have a, or well, the solution to this rather is to have a review of any administrator transactional behavior. And in most companies, administrators should have no transactional activities in a production account. And the first instinct people have is to produce a search that, um, like this one here, that simply filters based on the user role that was recorded in the system notes. Now you can group it somewhat differently so that it doesn't have a line for every single field that's changed. Generally speaking, you just wanna know, you know that they changed journal you know, number 43 over here. You, you're not as interested, at least not um, for purposes of overall review, that they you know, changed the um, subsidiary to parent company or you know, made a timestamp somewhere. Um, so, um, but the challenge you're going to get here is that um, this role is recorded um, even when the person using it did not have the was not actually uh, did not have administrator access. And the circumstance that, where that will occur is when you have a workflow or a script operating in, in administrator uh, in the administrator role um, context. And to learn more about this, we have a separate video about monitoring uh, scripts that execute as admins. Um, so when that happens, particularly in a user role context, or a user uh, um, event context, so it's occurring right after somebody saves something, um, then you will get this, these false positives. Okay? So the, the second challenge is if you wanted to start filtering this, um, there is no join on the system notes between the name Daphne Palana and Daphne's actual employee record. So you can't actually check whether or not Daphne really has the administrator role and therefore you're gonna end up with false positives and there's really no way around it without StrongPoint. Um, so with StrongPoint, what you're able to do is compare two different searches. And this is part of the StrongPoint agent system. And you'll see that we have a first search so we're going to look at it in a second that says transactions associated with administrator role it's a search and this is the customization record for it that's the that strong point prepares and you'll see that we've set it as control we've created a log behavior so it's going to show up as uh, a log that needs to be cleared to give it some workflow and um, we set it to run daily right and um, but and all this is going to do if we go take a look at this search is the search rather is it's just looking for you know um main line is true um system notes is role uh you know date is here set by so looking for any uh change on the um on the body of the transaction where the um where the where it's the administrator going on and you could make slightly different versions of this you could make one that you know just looked at the uh at other fields but but generally speaking this will catch any changes to the lines or the um or the body because if you change anything you'll change the last modified date field and this will get caught as a, as a change by the, by the administrator so this is this is the same type of system of search that we we're looking at before really no different Okay, now we're going to cross check that against a cross match control and we're going to check to see if the name system notes name field appears anywhere in this data. Right, so remember we were looking back here and we we're looking at 
Daphne Philanopolis' name. Now we're going to see if Daphne Philanopolis' name occur occurs in this other search. And this other search is again very, very simple. It's simply a search that says, uh, is the role, does this person have the role of administrator? So search on the employee record for all the employee rec employees who have the role of administrator. Now, depending upon the, the in which roles you have deployed. You might also want to include the system administrator role here because they have extremely broad capabilities as well. And it's possible that there could be some other high powered custom roles that you've built that you also want to include in here. And if you include it here, you would also have to make the same change to, um, to the original uh, system note search. What happens is when this executes, StrongPoint automatically it gathers all the results from this search and checks to make sure that they match this search. So anybody who doesn't match it, those false positives we were concerned about, the, pe the, the people who were not, did not have an administrator role, weren't acting in administrator role, but just submitted something and then a user event script caused the administrator role uh, to be flagged on the system notes, those people are gonna be, be excluded. And so very, very simply you can set this up and it'll produce um, logs that show you exactly what you want to see, which is the administrator behavior in the system. And now you can make blend those um, reports um, together to produce a, um, a review of all the administrator activity in the week or the month, depending on your review cycle, and clear it on out. Okay. This capability is extremely useful for all sorts of different types of controls. Uh, you can learn more about it by, by reading in our user guide um, or reaching out to a member of our team and they'll walk you through it. Thanks very much.